Well, we've also learned that the mayor and state attorney general are preparing to file lawsuits. But the most dramatic development today comes from in, uh, comes from information on how one of the construction workers managed to survive the bridge collapse. They absolutely got zero um, warning. Um, he had no idea. He watched everybody go into the water. So, you know, he was not, they were not warned. They were actually sitting in their cars on break. The attorney is talking about one of the survivors of the key bridge collapse that killed six of his construction co-workers. And he survived because his window was manual. He was able to roll down the window and escape. You can imagine how frightening that is. Um, and then he was able to hang on to uh, some drifting. He fought for his life and he survived. Attorneys for two of the victims' families and one of the survivors announced they are conducting their own investigation into the bridge collision. They also intend to file a challenge to the Titanic disaster motion filed by the shipping company that limits liability. The Limitation of Liability Act of 1851 is unfair, it's unjust, and it serves no purpose. It rubs salt in the wounds of these family members who now must enter this claims process while they're still mourning their loved ones. Meanwhile, the FBI and the U.S. Attorney confirms to 11 News there's now a federal criminal investigation into the bridge collapse. The agency telling us the FBI is present aboard the cargo ship Dolly conducting court-authorized law enforcement activity. The U.S. Attorney's Office issued a statement telling us we will seek accountability for anyone who may be responsible. State lawmakers provided the state attorney general with the authority to recover damages for the state in connection with the bridge collapse. As chief legal officer of the, of the state, my responsibility uh, is to file actions to protect the interests of the state, to recover for that damage. So whether it's the ship owner uh, or others, uh, that's what we're currently doing. Mayor Brandon Scott hired attorneys to pursue legal action. To do everything in our power to bring every single piece of information out and every single resource, anything that we can do to help Baltimore uh, recover from that tragedy. What does justice look like? We don't know the answer because what is the value of six lives that have been destroyed? Lawyers for Mr. Cervente say he will speak publicly about what happened, but for now, he is physically, mentally, and emotionally unable to do so. Reporting live from Harbor East, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.